Check this out. Just pulled up, got ready, start unloading. Here's the hole I launched from. And look all my little friends there waiting for me. They're like, where's our food? Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful day here in the Florida Keys, but still windy. So I'm back into my windy uh, day hiding spot. Still running the tarpon 140. Uh, I actually did some work on it. Uh, replaced the pad I hear because that had broken off so I didn't have a way to use my anchor trolley. That was a hassle last trip. Plus I put on another layer of uh, insulation down here. Doing some uh, plastic welding. And just some little odds and ends to clean it up since I haven't used it in a long time. So uh, got it all fixed and uh, figured to take it out for a test drive. Uh, one of my viewers just told me last time he was out saw some snook and tarpon and some uh, redfish So figured maybe we'll take a shot at those got the snook shirt on so <laughs> that's the plan Could just stay here and catch all these fish There are some grunts in there That might be worthwhile Too many mangroves all right, uh, we're anchored up, brought my anchor, fixed my trolley line. So I'm good to go with the anchoring. Man, it's so important to have an anchor and be able to stop. Uh, I'm set up by this creek opening on the other side of this, but more importantly, it's a uh, water movement. So uh, that'll get my chum to disperse here. And that'll bring the pinfish. And I'll load up on, I just need like four or five. I'm gonna kind of use artificials today, but I might play with the mangroves as well since I'm out here. And uh, yeah, get some bait. There we go. Pinfish on. Perfect. I'm gonna be using these for cut bait, so size does not matter. Otherwise, the only thing I'd be using this guy for would be uh, a tarpon. But as a chunk bait, perfect. Here is an instance where I got all these mangrove snappers mixed in. They're being a pain. So being able to stand up and getting that field of view, I can see which fish are uh, coming after my bait. So I don't catch any mangroves by mistake. There comes one. Got it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Oh, eat it. There we go. Just like that. Uh, I think that's four, so I'll get one more and then we'll be done. Okay, the strategy we're gonna use today is that we're gonna run the uh, edges of the mangroves, looking for pockets with uh, either some big mangroves just swimming around or schools of smaller ones. I'm gonna anchor up and I've got, got my chum bag. I'm just gonna take little wads of chum, throw them in those pockets, get them fired up, and then I'll uh, use my cut pinfish on uh, either the knocker rig or uh, one of the uh, cobra jig heads and just flick them in there and try to spot fish the bigger mangroves. Pretty much what we did the last video here. So we're gonna see how that works out and then uh, make our way and then switch to artificials and look for a uh, tarpon, snook, redfish. So that's the plan. Oh, one of the key things that uh, on these windy days to look for beyond just getting out of the wind, but it's clean water. You can see how clear that water is around this area here. It's because this whole basin is sheltered so it doesn't get turned up whereas you go to the open Atlantic or the Gulf side it's just getting roiled so all that water is dirty and then the main uh, thoroughfares the main channels are just pushing that dirty water back and forth so the fish don't like that down here because they're used to the clear water so you find the clear water pockets like this boom start looking as you can see by the roots uh, we're not at the best tide we're probably a foot down from high tide but uh, we're gonna take a look here uh, it's really important to be able to uh, stand up so you get those sight lines you get a better angle you can see stuff and you can cover more water uh, when you're down you can hardly barely just see just right around you and that's just not enough so definitely stand up see this is that pocket that I was catching those fish the other uh, video uh, you can see there's a deeper hole there but that's because there's a creek that uh, runs through there but there's absolutely nothing here um 
water is stagnant so we're at a slack tide that makes a big difference and then it's kind of uh, low so we'll have to look for different pockets and I see some decent mangroves hanging out here Let's see if we can get them fired up a bit they're like oh nice delivered food well I definitely found the spot where the snappers are hanging out get them into a frenzy that'll start tracking some movement by the bigger boys hopefully all right Let's throw this chunk out there and see if... There we go. There we go. Ugh. There we go. That's not a bad one. You make a sandwich. Ugh. There we go. Using those big chunk baits will eliminate those smaller ones. That's my foot long. Boom! Caught ourselves a sandwich, but not today. All right, this is where we switch over to the uh, Cobra jig head quarter rounds with the uh, Esky uh, shrimp there. And we're just going to do a little bit of flicking, see if we could find the fish. And just run these uh, canal sides. All right, let's drop a bait in these little pockets here. See if anything will come for it. There we go. There's our bruiser. Got him on a circle hook, no weight. Uh. Uh. Boom! Yeah! Just drifting a chunk bait. Bam! Bam! There's our chunker. Beautiful fish. There we go, something's on it. Oh, spit it out. We gotta catch something here real quick before the noceums come. They're out. Eat it, eat it. There we go. Oh, stay out there. No. Oh. Alrighty. You didn't make it under there. Oh, there we go. Nice colored one. Ugh. Beauty. All right, we're gonna throw the head out and then we're getting out of here. The noceums are nuts. Picking it apart. Oh, the no see uh, I think something's swimming around with it. Oh, it's going over there. There we go. Oh, little one. Little guy. Oh, I gotta get out of here. These no see are nuts. Oh, big old grunt. I'd use you for bait. If I had a gallon of bug spray. Oh. Oh, God, we gotta get out of here. Oh, swarming. Marion, sunset in a no wind spot along the mangroves is bad news with no seams. Man, just brutal. So, calling it a day, make it back to the launch. 
nice evening cruise here. All righty, we made it back, got all loaded up, survived the no see -ums. Oh, brutal. But uh, anyways, bent a rod, got out of the wind, so it was a good day. So anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye.